Chief Meteorologist Howard Mann just joins us now from our weather deck built by Dan Brown Construction. Howard, I'm a little jealous of you soaking up the sunshine out there. Yeah, you know, it's well documented that I prefer the cold, but this ain't so bad. <laughs> you know, it's, you can certainly feel the, back, the warmth of the sun on your back. Uh, it, there's a lot of sunshine. There's not a cloud in the sky here anywhere. And it's just as comfortable as can be. So um, just I hope you've had an opportunity to joy, enjoy it. And if you haven't yet, I think we have more on the way. Let's take a look at the national picture here. Still giant high pressure in control throughout the northeast. And that is uh, keeping us high and dry uh, and continues to do so. But as expected, it was another cold morning here across the area. Um, 130. It was 39 degrees in Andes. These numbers are from the New York State Mesonet site. Uh, but look at the difference. Binghamton, town of Binghamton, our site up there. 52 degrees. It was 41 in a week ago. Uh, so really a remarkable difference from, um, you know, depending on topography. Temperatures currently sitting in the 70s. 69 in Vestal, though. Uh, 67 in Roxbury, 73 in Stanford, and we're sitting at 78 in Sherburne. Looking at the headlines, yeah, we've got another absolutely beautiful day underway, uh, continuing into a period of just amazing sleeping weather as well, if you like to sleep with the window open. Uh, looking ahead to uh, next few days, still some warm weather. Uh, it might even warm up just a little bit, but we do still have some rain on the way for Saturday, it looks like, and we'll get into that right now as that uh, strong cold front comes in. Looks like the front will pass later in the day on Saturday. But uh, this is a look at about 8 o'clock. So between about 5 and 8 o'clock is when I think that cold front will be coming through. So we expect some rain at that point. And the rain could still be steady at, at times. But the good news is it's not expected to be an all-day rain. I think the bulk of the rain is going to be late afternoon on into the evening. But that rain could still be a little steady at times. But uh, there's another model showing almost the same exact thing around the same time. So confidence is very high that that cold front will cross and bring some rain to us uh, later in the day. Uh, well, through the afternoon Saturday and into the evening uh, as well as when I think that um, uh, system will be bringing that uh, rain to us. We've got the future track and it, I really could have maybe even left this out of the show because there is nothing showing up on the future track. What it won't show here, and it's not been doing a very good job, will be the fog in the valleys tomorrow morning. It's going to be another picturesque morning, I think, for fog down in the river valleys. Tomorrow afternoon looking absolutely perfect as well, uh, and we're going to continue with the very quiet weather all the way through uh, this afternoon. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, even into Friday, it looks like it's going to be uh, uh, coming down with a, a mainly dry day uh, as well. So uh, that seven-day forecast, again, I, it, I don't know if it gets any nicer than this over the next... Um, you know, or I should say at any time of the year, it's extremely comfortable. Uh, sunshine, still feel the warmth. Uh, school's back in session now, maybe tomorrow for some students. Um, the schools aren't going to be 90 degrees. And this Saturday, we do have some rain with that cold front coming in. But as I showed there, it's not going to rain all day. And then heading into Sunday, we start to dry things out again into next week. A little bit of a drop in temperatures there. We're in the mid-60s for Monday, and I think we uh, start a slow trend back up into the low and mid-70s there for Tuesday and next Wednesday.